officials and members of Number One Super Limited, the National Superannuation Fund, and Comrade Trustee Services Limited can expect to lose over 317 million kina in assets values and reduce dividends in just the first year of the levy's implementation. ASF PNG believes the levy is contradictory to the state's efforts to improve PNG's investment appeal to investors. The association says BSP already meets significant tax and community service obligations and shareholders impacted by this may force BSP to scale back on some of their market shares to fall below the levy threshold of 40 percent to ensure stabilized profits and dividends. This would mean a reduction in the availability of credit in the country. Echoing similar sentiments is the CEO of BSP Group, Robin Fleming, adding that services have been made more attractive for customers over the years. We're reducing our fees to make it more attractive for those customers to come to BSP. The more we do in that way, possibly just resources concentration which the levies supposed to address and that the question really has to be to the other banks at what stage do you really want to participate in PNG? ANZ has three branches, 244 million kin in their profit after tax, increased about 80 million kina foreign exchange and therefore I say to businesses do you still want to provide foreign exchange to a bank who isn't going to provide any form of services to the people of PNG? Westpac did increase their profit, again, predominantly driven by foreign exchange, but no real effort to be able to provide any services. Kina Bank and their results yesterday said they've been able to increase accounts via my bank, but my bank has a limited capability to address the real needs of the people of PNG. And myself and the board do travel all around PNG, and I am fully aware of the difficulties that many of our customers continue to face. The ASF PNG says the tax of 190 million kina estimated to reduce NSL and NES funds crediting rates by 2 to 3 percent and CTSL by 5 percent is a significant burden for the hardworking members of the super funds who are already highly taxed. As the superannuation funds finalize their audited accounts for financial year 2021, there is an indication that the members will be informed that they will receive less from BSP dividend payments and consequently a lower interest rate in 2023 as a consequence of this levy. While ASF PNG also remains committed to supporting the state's endeavors to raise revenue internally to aid sustainable budget repair and economic growth, it says this will not be done at the expense of their members. The ASF further noted that the major concentration levy has been drastically understated and formed without any consultation, therefore will have repercussions on working class Papua New Guineans and the economy as a whole. Meantime, the association is calling on the national government to have an open dialogue with BSP and the superannuation funds to discuss recommendations of alternative means for increasing the state's revenue-raising options. Susan Kanya, NBC National News, Port Moresby.